<laughs> Chorus. There's two sides to every story. Maybe three sides, depending on who's involved. Tonight, we're going to hear a lot of versions of the truth. It's up for you to decide. <laughs> People call on me, Domino Adams, private eye. They want me to dig up the truth. Not the whole truth. Maybe just something that confirms their idea of the truth. Sometimes, sometimes I find something that goes against everything they believe. Then what do I do? I open up that can of worms. These are questions. I'm not being paid to answer. <laughs> but they keep me up at night. <laughs> <laughs> Give a person a mask to tell you the truth. Some famous writer. Oscar Wilde. Yeah, Oscar Wilde. Great. <laughs> but uh, when you're a regular guy standing in the spotlight, it's a lot harder. But uh, as for me, I got my hat. <laughs> and everybody recognizes Domino Atlas, Private Eye, honest, hard workers, hard drinking, a loner, in need of nobody. Am I telling the truth? Yeah. You be the truth. <laughs> <laughs> You may think that this is a little old-fashioned, but sometimes you need to get down on the ground to take a closer look. What you see doesn't look like anything you expect. In fact, the closer you move in, <laughs> The stranger things start to look. <laughs> I guess that's what the queen was complaining about. No need to go chopping heads off of that, though. Sometimes a thing can just feel true. You don't know why. Maybe in another language. You don't understand the words, but you know it comes from the heart. In this <laughs> case, though, I decided to check the words. Here's the ending, my favorite. It's the wind blowing free. It's the end of a slope. It's a beam, it's a void, it's a hunch, it's a hope. And the riverbank talks of the waters of March. It's the end of a strain, the joy in your heart. I still don't understand it. <laughs> but I know it's true. <laughs> I've had dealings with that woman before. Let me tell you, she's one slippery character. Last time she was operating under the name Magenta Galaxy. Had a boutique in the fashionable part of the barrio. Gorgeous dame, but she wasn't very friendly. Especially when I read off her list of known aliases. 
I went back to ask her a few more questions. The boutique was gone, but vanished, like it never existed. <laughs> <laughs> Zonga? <laughs> I am Alexandria Zonga, and you are? Tamino Atlas, private eye. I'm here to investigate you on a charge of fraud. Fraud? This I don't believe. Inspector, let's sit down and look at the cards. Surely they will reveal what needs to be revealed. This is serious. The guys at the Bunko Squad sent me down to investigate you for trying to sell fake fortunes. Nothing I do is fake. I am Madame Zonga. I see all, I know all. Even the police have come to me, and they fail to get at the truth. I got a complaint from a young guy here, Sydney. Whatever the complaint was, I say let's look at the cards and we will get to the bottom of it. All right. I think it's hooey, but let's give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Pick a card. This looks like your business card. Not that card. Pick the <laughs> <laughs> This one says, The Fool. The Fool. This is a very good card. You might think it is a bad card that it makes you Inspector Clueless. But I assure you it is very positive because it says that you know you don't know. That is the best way to get at the truth. So now you may ask your question. All right. Sidney and his girlfriend Laura came to see him. Says he turned you against him. Said, told her that uh, she was totally mistaken about him and that uh, she should drop him and move on with her life. Yes, she is totally mistaken about him and he about her because neither of them realizes how much the other cares about them. <laughs> I said to Laura, that she must let go of what needs to be let go of. She thought I meant Sydney. I was talking about her job. Listen, you predicted they both break up. Then you throw in some crazy story about how he's gonna be stung by a scorpion, she's gonna be attacked by a wild animal. So far, still together, no scorpion, no wild animal. How do you explain Sydney that? Sydney and Laura, very nice young people, but they are on a roller coaster. Right now, everything is looking very up. But uh, did you ask Laura? Things could be going down very fast, very soon. <laughs> so, uh, Sydney was wrong about them uh, breaking up? I said roller coaster, up, down, up, down. Not over till the fat lady screams. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what about this poisonous scorpion? It has already bitten. That is why Sydney sent you to me. But uh, why would Sydney lie and want to attack you? The scorpion sting of jealousy and anger. He thinks he is not good enough for Laura. This is the poison that he must battle with and that could destroy his happiness. Yeah. Jealousy. That's a poison, all right. But what about uh, what you said about her being attacked by a wild animal? Oh, this is when the roller coaster goes back up and everything is beautiful and wild and wonderful because she does not realize the wild animals is in her. <laughs> I get it. Anger and passion. The dangerous animals. Not so clueless after all. 
So, when you tell people this stuff, it may be the truth, but it's not what they want to hear. This is what makes my work so draining, Inspector. I plumb the depths of the human soul, and when I reveal what I find, it is not always welcome. <laughs> I was wrong about you. Huh? You're on the level, Madam Zaga. Before you go, Inspector, I wish to present you with a gift. If I can get it free, I might get it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks. I know how hard that was. <laughs> <laughs> these gypsy amulets. I've heard about these things. They bring good luck. I'm going to take this and go down to the track. Do what you wish me, Inspector, but do not come back to me if things don't turn out quite like you expect. <laughs> okay, Madam Zanga. I may use you on a case or two. <laughs> Domino Atlas believing in fortune tellers. I guess the truth is just Funny sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>